Hello everyone, I'm Garen Chamiar, and welcome to The Quiver, the series where I pretty much give you some channel news and talk about random things. But for ch the channel news for today is there's a series on my channel that is coming to a close, and that is Mech and Magic. And there will be a possible collab before it comes to a close to kind of wrap things up and end it on a good note. But now on to the topic I wanted to bring up for today, which is Fallout 76. And I'm not telling you you should, you should be excited about it, but you should be excited about it. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff that, to, to clear a few things up, they've really thought of everything. Now, if you're in the group of people that dislike it because you're afraid it's going to be a big grief fest... You can rest easy because there's a lot of countermeasures. They literally thought of everything when they made this game because they got a bunch of people together, had them be the biggest trolls they could be, and then set up all kinds of stuff to prevent that at launch. And anything that we discover after launch that will probably be patched and fixed. But one of the ingenious countermeasures they have put in place is you guys have probably thought, what if I don't want to get into PvP? Well, they can still hurt you, and they can kill you. But you are, I bet you guys are thinking, but that is griefing. That will ruin my experience. Not if you turn them into content. And you don't get punished at all for it. And what I mean by that is they are literally going... Whenever they kill you, they get no reward. No e e XP. And then they get put on the map as a dot for everyone to see. And then they can't see anybody else. And they get a bounty placed on them. But here's the part that is really interesting. The bounty comes out of their pocket. They pay you for killing them, pretty much. So it pretty much becomes a kind of some interesting content so you can hunt them get, and you get a reward for killing them and kind of show them what that feels like. But that isn't all. There is more. I bet you guys are thinking, with building... You people have, will have the possibility of trapping you. And you can break through all buildings. But then I bet you're thinking, well, isn't that also griefing? Not if you can blueprint everything that you have built and place it back down with some relative ease. So they've pretty much thought of everything. They want this game to be as fun of experience as possible without ruining your experience or the things you like to do. PvP itself is still fun. It's still PvP. But for those of you that like the, a full PvP experience, I'm afraid that this is not going to be the game for you. But they have mentioned that if there are lots of people that like PvP, they will probably put some PvP only servers. So it could eventually be the game for you. And on another note, the roleplay aspects. I bet you guys are thinking, how can you roleplay? There are no NPCs. Well, that's what will make it better for roleplaying. The NPCs, there won't be any NPCs there to trap you in any kind of roleplaying traps. Like in Fallout 4, for instance. There are no NPCs pretty much telling you who your character is by default. Like, you're a father looking for a son who has some war experience. That, that is pretty much a set story. You, there's no way out of that. What if you didn't want to be a war veteran or a father, for instance? You're, you were kind of trapped in that story. And it took mods to kind of have the potential of getting you out of that. But with this, you pretty much have free reign... And there, the other NPC or the other players can only make that experience more richer. So, all in all, this will be a very... The only limit of the role-playing 
will be the limit you of you, what you can't imagine. And so pretty much it's nearly limitless. And there'll be more stuff added later on. This game has so much potential because it will have it'll, it'll, it'll have continued updates. Free DLC, they said. And I bet you're also wondering, what about the pay to win? They have a um um a store where you can buy stuff. All that stuff is purely cosmetic, and all of it you can earn in game for free. So none of the stuff they have in their game store, none of it is locked behind a paywall. All of it you can earn in game. So this is not pay to win. So all in all. That is all the reasons why you should be honestly excited about this game and be excited for its potential, because its potential is nearly limitless. And that's pretty much all I wanted to bring up. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Stay positive, and see ya.